with, with passports. Mr. O'Neill did not give any names, however, said the MP has been identified and a letter has been written to him instructing him to release the implicated men believed to be from Pakistan and India. He said the men have in possession fraudulent documents of entry into the country. There are some Indians and Pakistanis, uh, some of them are associated with our leaders in, in, uh, in this wonderful house, Mr. Speaker, with, with passports, uh, with passports uh, that are from different countries, not from their country of origin, Mr. Speaker. So uh, in, 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 uh, an example in case, Mr. Speaker, is that I, a Pakistani holding a Somalian passport, uh, a Lebanese holding an Australian passport, and an Indian holding a Pakistani passport. So, Mr. Speaker, they, they live under protection of some leaders in this, uh, in this honorable house, Mr. Speaker. Early this year, the Immigration Task Force team uncovered a ring of illegal immigrants in the country. The men were from Bangladesh. They were caught and deported by the team. Bureaucrats from the Foreign Affairs and Immigration Department were heavily implicated. Since then, the department and ministry have not responded. The Prime Minister's response came after a series of questions raised by West Sipi Governor Amkat Mai. Mr. Mai was gravely concerned about the lack of security and surveillance at the Wotong border post. He asked if the police ministry could engage the Australian Federal Police on border surveillance. The Prime Minister assured the Governor that the next batch of AFP officers will be assigned to other provinces apart from Port Moresby and Ley. At the moment, funding constraints have put a halt on an arrangement with the Queensland State of Australia to bring in 150 officers for advisory support. Mr O'Neill also announced that 20 Israeli policemen and women will come to the country next month under the PNG Israeli Corporation Program signed recently. This assistance is solely funded by the Israeli government. We are hoping that the Australian uh, government will uh, fully fund it. And uh, of course, uh, we are also trying to send about 150 of our own policemen to uh, in many parts of the states in Australia so that they can uh, upskill their uh, skill levels and also to uh, try and get uh, a better uh, training and supervision. Uh Bernadette Effie, National MTV News.